In today's video, you're going to learn how to create ambient sounds videos for YouTube using AI. So you've probably seen these types of videos getting recommended all over YouTube before. So they get a lot of views and a lot of watch time. So if you just launched a, a, a new YouTube channel and you're trying to get monetized, this is a great way to get your first 1000 subscribers and to get your first 4000 watch hours to get your channel monetized. And today I'm going to show you why it's easier than ever before to create these types of videos and also to retain the quality of the videos as well. And we're going to be doing all of this using a free tool. So I've talked about this tool plenty of times in some of my uh, recent videos, but there's been a major new update and there's a really cool uh, feature that they've added. And this makes a huge difference uh, in the types of videos that you make. So you can create ambient sounds videos, animated videos, anything that you want and we're going to talk about this new feature very soon. So this is going to be a very quick video. It's very simple to create these types of videos now. So watch until the end and you'll know exactly how to create your first ambient videos and upload it to YouTube. So before we get started, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the notification bell and comment down below with any questions, any video requests or just any random comment. And if you do all four of those things, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course. So if you don't know what YouTube Masterclass is, you can check out the first link in the description below. It's an entire course packed with everything that you need to know about how to start a YouTube channel, how to grow the YouTube channel, and how to monetize it in multiple ways. So if you want to be in the draw to win that course, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and comment down below. So I pick a new winner every week. So let's pick last week's winner. So I'm going to go into last week's video right here and I'm going to copy the link to the video and I'll paste in the link right here. And this is a website that picks winners from YouTube videos. So it's going to go through all the comments from last week's video and it's going to pick one random comment. So Dust Might Busters, so you're the winner from last week's contest. So if you're watching this video, you just need to email me with your Gmail account. So you should have a Gmail account with the same name and the same avatar. Just email me with that account so we'll know that it's you and I'll give you access to the course. So you'll find my email at the bottom of this video's description. So if you want to win just like Dustmite, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and comment down below and allow, uh, I'll announce the next winner in the next week's video. So with that said, let's get started with today's video. So what is this new tool that I'm talking about? So you probably, uh, if you've been following my channel recently, you've probably heard of this tool. It's called RunwayML.com. So these, this is a video editing tool, but they've got a bunch of like text to image software, uh, um, background editing, uh, fonts editing, color correcting, so many different tools, all in an AI tool. So it just makes it so much easier and so much faster to create high quality videos. So I'll show you how simple it is to use this tool very soon and it's free to use as well. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. And what are the what is the type of video that we're trying to create? So if I just go into YouTube here and I just search up restaurant sounds and there'll be a ton of videos here with like millions of views. So let's have a look at this one right here. So I'm going to uh, lower the sound on this because the sounds actually might be copyrighted. So I'm going to lower the sound. But you can see it's just playing some sounds right now. You can't hear it, but it's just an image of a coffee shop. So this video isn't even, you know, good quality, but it's got 1.5 million views. They just simply used like a random image of a coffee shop. Let's have a look at this one. So this one's a bit better. They've got this nice image and there's some rain in the background and they've got some restaurant sounds uh, playing in the background. So I'm going to show you how to create a video like this, maybe even better than this. And we're going to create um, the video using this uh, tool right here. But we do need some sounds for the background. So where do you get things like uh, nature sounds or restaurant sounds and things like that? So my favorite website is this right here. So it's called pixabay.com. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Uh, basically, you can find sounds in anything that you want. So if you just search up something like restaurants, then you'll find some restaurant sounds right here. Uh, you, you can also go on the side right here and look for nature sounds. So there's like bird sounds. So let me just get rid of restaurant here. So right now it's restaurant and nature. If I just get rid of restaurant right here and just nature, you can see there's some nature sounds. So some of these sounds are only like one minute long or 30 seconds long. You just need to, uh, you just need to find the ones that are a bit longer, like 15 minutes long right here. And you just click on download and you can use all of these for free. So this is a great website to find like copyright free 
music, images, and videos as well. It's called pixabay.com. But let's say you also want to uh, find some um, uh, other sounds that this website doesn't have, Pixabay doesn't have. You can simply just go into Google and just search up something like free restaurant, free restaurant sounds. And there'll be plenty of options right here. So there's one called Mixkit right here. You can see Pixabay there. There's one called Zapsplat. And there's you know unlimited um, options right here. And you can always download the, these ones. Just make sure you find the ones that are like quite like uh, long. So like at least 10 minutes long. Not the ones that are like, you know, 24 seconds or two minutes long. And you can see this uh, doesn't show you how long it is right here. But you can see an, an Indian restaurant. Uh, there's a few people talking in the background so all types of different uh, uh, sounds right here so that's a, that's where you get the sounds once you've done that we need to start creating the images so we don't want to just take an image and just put it on the video so that's not what, what we want we want to create a nice looking image so you can do that using runway so uh, once you create a free account on runway this is what your dashboard will look like with all of your projects right here but right here on the left hand side you'll see AI magic tools so just click on that and these are all the AI tools and they create a new AI tool pretty much every week so there's, there's always a new update right here so there's things like cutting the background there's some of them you have to um, upgrade to unlock the tool so things like you know cutting backgrounds and videos you have to upgrade for that but some of them are free like this one right here it's called infinite image so I'm gonna click on this so this is the major new update that I was talking about so what I'm looking for is like an image of a restaurant. Maybe it's like the outside of a restaurant. And maybe I also want it to be like a nice painting. Maybe it's like a painting by Van Gogh or Aaron Hansen or something like that. So I'm going to say a painting by Aaron Hansen. So if you don't know who Aaron Hansen is, I'll show you who she is soon. She's a very famous um, painter. A painting by Aaron Hansen of a restaurant um, let's just say in I'm just gonna say um, a restaurant outside of yeah let's say yeah let's just try restaurant so let me just show you who Erin Hansen is so if I just go into Google here so she's a very famous artist and she creates these beautiful looking nature of uh, um, images right here so she only paints like nature images but with the AI, we can actually take this style and get it to get um, get it to paint anything um, else that we want. So it could be like a portrait, it could be a restaurant, it could be a cafe, anything that you want. So let's go back here, and you can see there's the painting in the same style as Aaron Hansen. And there's four different options here. This is the first one. So let's click on next. This is the uh, next option, fourth one, and this one. So these ones look a bit too detailed. So uh, not detailed, sorry. It looks a bit too abstract. So maybe I'll try someone else, like um, there's another artist called Edward Hopper. So you can try as many different um, uh, options as you want. So just click on cancel here if you don't like it. There's another artist right here called Edward Hopper. And I'll search him up. So if you don't know who Edward Hopper is, let me show you who that is. Edward Hopper. So he creates these types of um, very still looking paintings. So he's also very famous and if you uh, if you want to learn, learn about some famous painters for your videos just simply go into Google and just search up fa famous painters look at the style of their painting and if you like it then just say something like a painting by this artist of a restaurant or whatever you want so let's see here so this one looks pretty cool so it's like a nice classical restaurant right here and you can see it's pretty much the same style as this painter and let's have a look at the next one that also looks very interesting as well Yep, that looks very cool. And that's the outside of a restaurant. So you just pick the one that you like. So maybe I'll pick this one right here. This one looks nice and simple. It's kind of like an elevational um, uh, video right here that we can create. So I'm going to click on accept. So that's the first image. Now I'm going to move this this way. And then I'll click on generate again. So what it's doing now is we're saying create another painting but keep this part of the image right here. So it's seeing this part of the image within this box and it's going to continue it from here. So you can see, so it just kept this part of the image and it continued uh, it from there. So then we click on next and you can see it just keeps this part but changes this 
and there's four different options right here. You can see this one looks really cool, so that's number three. Number four also looks pretty cool, but I actually like number three right here. So, yeah, so I'm happy with that. So I'll click on accept. Now you can just keep going. So I'll go this way this time. So I'll click on generate here. And you can go as far as you like. And what we're going to do is create like a long video, a long image right here. And we're going to make it kind of animate within the video. So it's just not just like, so, yep, so this one looks very cool. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, so I actually like this one right here. So I'll click on next. And one more here. So right here, so if I want to pan over, I can just click on this hand sign right here called pan. And I'll just move it right here. So here, it doesn't really look like, you know, there should be a more of a restaurant. It should be like something else, like a, like a street. So I'm going to say a street, a painting of a street by Edward Hopper. And I'll hit generate. So over here, there'll be a street and over here, there'll be like a restaurant. So this is like a nice painting instead of like a photorealistic image. And if you want it, you can create a photorealistic image as well. It doesn't always have to be a painting. So that looks very cool. So, yep, that also looks very good. But I actually really like this first image right here. So this looks perfect. So now let me just pan over. There we go. So there we have our long looking, nice long looking image right here. Then to download the image, just click on download right here, or you can save it to your assets folder right here. And that's gonna save it to your assets folder that you can use on your uh, videos. So that's just one image. You can create as many images as you want and you should create like at least 10 different images. So it's free, so you can uh, easily do so right here. So that's just one image. And let's go back right here and let's put that into a video. So I'm going to go into one of my projects right here. So let me open up my project. So this is what your projects will look like. And you'll see the image that you created right here. So I'm going to choose that image and I'm going to click and drag it into the timeline at the bottom right here. So this is the timeline at the bottom. This is the assets folder. So this, this is where all your images and all your um, images that you upload and create will be right here. So if you want to upload your own image, just click and drag it into this section right here. And right here on the right hand side, this is where we see all the settings of the video. So you can see the size of the uh, image that we just clicked right here. Uh, and we're going to change that. So right now it's just taking up the entire video and it's got all of these empty spaces at the top. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So we'll just make it click and drag it from the corners. Oops, so uh, don't, don't just stretch it out. So make sure you click and drag it from the corner so it actually keeps the proportion of the image. And let's place it right here. Yep, so that looks good. Then what we'll do is we'll make this a bit longer. So I want this to be about, uh, let's just say the first image to be about one minute long. So it's about 55 seconds long. And then I wanna animate this from side to side. So let's go back uh, here hit play so you can see it's just a still image right now so to animate this just click on this image and click on animate and we're going to animate the position so there's a few options right here you can animate the uh, position scale so you can make it bigger you can rotate it you can make the opacity lower or higher and you can also crop the image as well but we just want to animate the position so right now we're going to go into the position and we're going to start it from the start uh, the zero second mark right here and you'll see this little clock icon. If I click on that, it's telling the runway, start from this position where the image is. And then when you get towards the end, so let me just like start it right here, towards the end, I want the image to be all the way to the other side right here. And you can see it's animating it now. So it's like, it's got another little diamond icon right here. So there's one diamond icon here, which says go to the start. And the other, other one, says go to the end. So now if I hit play, you can see it starts to move. So it's just like a nice image kind of going from side to side. So this is just the very basic of runway. So if you want to learn this in more detail, then you can check out my YouTube masterclass course where I teach people, um, you know, how to create some really beautiful looking animations of like with characters, with things in the background, 
um, and you can also add voiceovers, create stories, and so much more. So then I'll just hit pause right here, then I'll click on back to timeline. So then we'll add, add the uh, sounds in as well. So let me go find the sounds that uh, I uploaded. Uh, it should be here somewhere. So I created a new folder. So this was the restaurant sounds that I created uh, that should be in the uh, folders that I created. So this is the only annoying part about uh, Runway. So it's not really well organized yet, the, um, the asset section. So there's like folders and images and other things like all bunched up into one place. So maybe hopefully they'll change that so we can actually organize everything properly. So let's put the restaurant sounds right here. So I've got the restaurant, restaurant sounds from Pixabay. And if I hit play, you can see the thing playing in the background and also uh, uh, the uh, image moving as well. So that's it. So now you simply you know, create another image. So this could be maybe inside of the restaurant. And maybe this time the sound could be like nice classical music because this looks like a classical music um, uh, um, type of image. So if you want to create those type of music, then you can add those in. Make sure it's just not copyrighted. Um, and that's it. It's so simple to make these types of videos now. And on top of that, you can also add in some text in the background if you wanted to. So you can see the text right here. You can say ambient sounds. You can put this in the corner. You can animate this in as well. There's plenty of different options, and if you want to learn that in more detail, you can check out my YouTube Masterclass course. So that's it for today's video. Go, go out and try your own uh, ambient sounds videos with Runway. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you uh, comment down below. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and if you do so, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course in the next week's video. So I'll see you guys in the next week's tutorial.